Aloha, and welcome to A Course in Miracles, workbook for students. Today we're on Lesson 32, I've Invented the World I See. On Lesson 27, my thought was, above all else, I want to see. 28 was, above all else, I want to see things differently. And then... Lesson 29 said, God is in everything I see. And 30, God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. And yesterday, the lesson was, I am not the victim of the world I see. So we're talking about seeing the world. The introduction to A Course in Miracles said so that this course will lead us to a place where we see everyone and everything in every situation differently. Earlier in the workbook lessons, we learned that we're not really seeing. All we see really is the past. And so this course is a mind training course, and it's bringing us more and more to the place where we really, truly see. See a different world than the world we see now. And it all has to do with our thinking and our thoughts. And today the lesson is on the same thing yesterday's lesson was, which is cause and effect. Change the cause and change the effect. Lesson 32. I have invented the world I see. Today we are continuing to develop the theme of cause and effect. You are not the victim of the world, you see, because you invented it. If you invented it, how can you be the victim? You can give it up as easily as you made it up. You will see it or not see it as you wish. While you want it, you will see it. When you no longer want it, it will not be there for you to see. What a, what a statement. What an amazing statement that we are actually inventing the world we see. We made it. I mean, that may be hard for part of your mind to accept. It may be a totally new, mind-blowing concept. But let's just go with it. The Course said that you don't have to agree with it, but just give it a chance and see if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, let it go. Don't hold on to something that doesn't work for you. But you don't know if something works until you try it. Kind of like green eggs and ham. So, the idea for today, like the preceding ones, applies to the inner world and the outer worlds, which are actually the same. However, since you see them as different, the practice periods for today will again include two phases, one involving the world you see outside you and the other the world you see in your mind. In today's exercises, try to introduce the thought that both are in your own imagination. That the world you see outside you and the world you see inside, try to introduce the thought that they are both in your imagination. Again, we will begin the practice periods for the morning and evening by repeating the idea for today two or three times. By looking around at the world you see as outside yourself, then close your eyes and look around your inner world. Try to treat them both as equally as possible. Repeat the idea for today unheardly, as often as you wish, as you watch the images your imagination presents. Your awareness as you watch.
watch the images your imagination presents to your awareness. Now remember, we're trying to introduce the thought that what our imagination is not only showing us the world we see inside, but also the world we see outside. For the two longer practice periods, three to five minutes are recommended, with not less than three required. More than five can be utilized if you find the exercise restful. To facilitate this, select a time when few distractions are anticipated and when you yourself feel reasonably ready to do the exercises. So we're going to try to do them twice in the morning, in the evening, for five minutes if we can, if not at least three minutes. And then throughout the day, these exercises are also to be continued during the day as often as possible. As often as you think of it. You know, just look around. Whatever is in front of you, be it something wonderful or beautiful or something frightening or scary, just say, I've invented the world I see. The, sh the shorter applications, the ones we do whenever they come to our mind to do it, consist of repeating the idea slowly as you survey either your inner or outer world. It does not matter which you choose. The idea for today should also be applied immediately to any situation that may distress you. Applying the idea by telling yourself, I have invented this situation as I see it. So if something comes up and is distressing to you today, immediately apply this idea to it. And tell yourselves, I've invented this situation as I see it. And I just want to introduce a, a thought maybe if I know I had a little trouble accepting the idea that I've created the world I see. But, you know, one thought that I have is when two, two people can be looking at the same world and one can write a song that says, what a wonderful world. And the same, a different person or even maybe the same person at a different time in their life can write a song that says the world is really screwed up and fearful and it sucks and how's it ever going to be anything but worse and worse and worse. So it's the same world but two different ways of seeing it. And so, that kind of is one example of where two different people created the world in their mind, polar opposites from each other. To one it was a wonderful world, to the other it was a fucked up world. But they were both looking at the same world. So, if you're been used to looking at the world as I'm a victim of the world I see and all of those things that out there are against me, my boss is against me, my kids are against me, my wife is against me, the government is against me. The Course is saying that world that you're seeing, your thoughts are creating. And if you can change your thoughts, you will, you will guarantee cause and effect see a different world. And all of us, I think, want to see a different world. A world where we're at peace, a world full of love, light, beauty, and so on. Whatever you 
think of as being heaven. That's the message, is that the kingdom of heaven is right here. You just have to have eyes to see it. So, aloha to you, love to you, peace to you, and I will see you everywhere. I will see you tomorrow.